Hello all, welcome to the final video of the year. Tonight I'm bringing you the big quiz from Everything 2023. So, we're going to start with the category known as People We've Lost in 2023. We have 10 questions and if you're ready, let's get started. So we're looking for the person who's passed away. Question one. This UK talk show host was an advocate for Battersea Dogs Hall. Number two. This Friends actor released his autobiography earlier this year. Number three, this actor is well known for his role as Dumbledore. Number four, this musician is famously known for the cha-cha slide. And for five, this actor was best known for his role as Captain Ray Holt. Number six, nothing compares to this singer. Nothing compares. Number seven, widely considered one of the greatest footballers of all time. He spent most of his career as a midfielder for Manchester United. And number eight, most famously known for his career as a news presenter for the BBC. Number nine now, this famous singer-songwriter followed in the footsteps of her father, known as the King of Rock and Roll. And finally number ten, what's love got to do with this singer, famous for her powerful voice? and big hairdos. Okay, give yourself a moment and then I'll reveal the answers. Are you ready? Number one, the answer was Paul O'Grady. Number two, Matthew Perry. Three, Michael Gambon. Four, DJ Casper, five, Andre Brower, number six was Sinead O'Connor, seven was Sir Bobby Charlton, eight was George Alagoya, nine, Lisa Marie Presley, and number ten was Tina Turner. Okay, let's have a look what category we're going to next. Okay, it looks as though we're on to sport. Ten sporting questions from 2023. So number one, why was Gary Lineker forced of his hosting duties on match of the day in March?
Number two, who won the women's Six Nations? Number three, who won the men's 22-23 Premier League? And number four, tennis question, who ended Novak Djokovic's winning streak? at Wimbledon. Number five, who won the women's singles title at the US Open? That's another tennis one for you. And number six, who was the only non-Red Bull F1 driver to win a Grand Prix race in the 2023 Formula One World Championship. Number seven, which English football legend shared his battle with OCD in his Netflix series? Number eight, which Danish cyclist won the Tour de France? Number nine, whose record 20 points were not enough to help Philadelphia win the Super Bowl? And finally, number 10, which former Olympic champion was elected as president of UK Athletics? That's all 10 guys. Are you ready for some answers? So Gary Lineker, number one, he was in an impartiality row with the BBC. Number two, England won the Women's Six Nations. Premier League title winners, Manchester City. Djokovic's winning streak was ended at Wimbledon by Carlos Alcaraz. Five was Coco Goff, or Goff. Number six, I've got Carlos Sainz for Ferrari. Number seven was David Becker. And I'm not sure I'm pronouncing this correctly. Danish cyclist, Tour de France winner, Jonas Vingegaard. Number nine, Jalen Hurts. And number ten was Denise Lewis. So that's your sport category. to some music questions from 2023. So number one, are you ready? After winning four Grammys in February, Beyonce is now the most awarded artist in the prize's history. How many Grammys does she have in total? Number two, what did Rihanna reveal during her Super Bowl halftime show? Number three, which English city hosted this year's Eurovision Song Contest? And for four, whose set was famously cut short at this year's Glastonbury? And 
Number five, which music artist shaved his hair off in November, causing the internet to lose its mind? Number six, you should all get this because she's in our faces all the time. Which singer began their era's, era's tour in March of 2023? Seven, what age did Madonna turn this year? And number eight, who was the most listened to artist on Spotify in 2023? Number nine, who won? Best International Artist at the Brit Awards. And finally, another Glastonbury question. Who headlined the Glastonbury Festival on the main stage on the Sunday night? Okay, are you ready for some answers? Number one, looks as though Beyonce has 32 Grammys. Rihanna revealed she was pregnant. Three was Liverpool. Four was Lana Del Rey. Five, Harry Styles. Six, Taylor Swift. Seven, Madonna turned 65. Number eight, Taylor Swift. Number nine, Beyonce and number 10 was Sir Elton John okay your next category is general knowledge so if you're ready Question one, a stolen Van Gogh painting was handed in to a Dutch art detective in what carrier bag? Number two, what was the name of Prince Harry's memoir? Three, Collins Dictionary announced what as the most notable word of 2023. Number four, Brooklyn Beckham was ridiculed for using what to grill a cheese toasty? Number five, which YouTuber sparked a police incident in New York City with a games console giveaway? And it was not me. Number six, in which city was the COP28 climate change conference held? Which city? Number seven. In April, Elon Musk's SpaceX company launched the biggest rocket ever built. What was it called? And for eight. Which country's newly elected world leader became famous for campaigning with a chainsaw? Okay, 
Okay, and number nine, what is the name of the submersible that went missing near the wreck of the Titanic in June? Number ten, which European island had to evacuate tens of thousands of people due to raging wildfires in July. Okay, that's all your general knowledge questions. Are you ready for some answers? The stolen Van Gogh painting was delivered in an IKEA carrier bag or IKEA according to the advert. Two Prince Harry's memoir was called Spare. Number three was AI. Number four, Brooklyn Beckham used a blowtorch. Number five, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, I've got K Sanat. Number six is Dubai. Musk's rocket was the starship. Crazy campaigner was from Argentina. We have President Javier Millay. Number nine, that was the Titan. And number ten was Rhodes. Next up we have TV. So number one, what is the most watched Netflix original show in 2023? Number two, which This Morning TV presenter stood down from their role in October after 14 years? Number three, who is the newest Doctor Who? Four, who presented the US version of the Traitors? A recent one here, which British MP appeared in I'm a Celebrity? Get me out of here. Number six. How much was the jackpot on Squid Game the challenge? Seven. Northwest had an unusual snack on the Kardashians. What was it? waiting for them to resurrect which actor from parks and recreation had a role in the last of us and for nine which female singer appeared in an episode of the mandalorian alongside jack black Number 10, it's quite a long-winded question. Which 2022 novel about a scientist turned feminist cookery show host was adapted into a 2023 TV series? Okay, I wouldn't have got any of these except maybe two. So answers, number one was 
Wednesday. Number two was Holly Willoughby, not Willoughby. Number three, I'm not sure how to pronounce this. I've got Shooty Gartwa. Number four, Alan Cumming. Number five was Nigel Farage. Six was four point five six million dollars. Northwest snacked on a raw onion. Number eight, Nick Offerman. Number nine, Lizza. And number ten, Lessons in Chemistry. Guys, here it is, your final category of the last video from 2023, and we have movies. So number one, which film won the Best Picture Award at the 2023 Oscars? Number two. Which actress was originally cast in the role of Barbie before Margot Robbie? Number three, who played the lead role in Oppenheimer? In October, Michael Caine confirmed his retirement from acting, which 2023 comedy marks his final on-screen role. And number five, you've got ten chances. Name one of the top ten highest grossing releases at the box office for this year. One point available only. Number six, Disney celebrated which anniversary this year? Seven, Ember and Wade are the main characters of which 2023? Pixar movie. Number eight, Blumhouse celebrated its biggest opening weekend to date with which video game inspired movie? And for nine, Keanu Reeves returned as which legendary hitman? Okay, and your last question. Which comedy drama film starred Tom Hanks as a bitter old man reluctantly getting involved in the lives of his neighbours. OK, all well, that's movies. Are you ready for some answers? Number one. Best picture at the Oscars. I have everything everywhere all at once. Number two. I've got Amy Schumer. Number three, by order of the Piggy Blinders, it was Cillian Murphy. Michael Caine, number four, the Great Escaper. And for number five, bear with me, you could have had one of these ten. Barbie, the Super Mario Brothers movie, Oppenheimer, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, 
Fast X, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, The Little Mermaid, Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning, Elemental, or Ant-Man and the Wasp. Number six, Disney celebrated its 100 year anniversary this year. Seven, Ember and Wade, that is Elemental. Number eight is Five Nights at Freddy's. Keanu Reeves, of course, it was John Wick. Number ten, the Tom Hanks question was a man called Otter. So that's it everyone, the final video of 2023. I hope you have a great New Year's celebration tonight. I'll see you in 2024 for some bigger and better ASMR videos. See you soon and please let me know your scores in the comment section. Bye for now.